you would have to study always up skill always because in pc even after getting a high salary job the learning stops only at the retirement stop before you fill out that college application before you commit 4 years of your life and a mountain of tuition fees to electronics engineering you need to hear this this is not your typical glossy prospectus video this is the harsh reality we are going behind the marketing to show you the good the bad and the burnout i have been there and i know the myths they sell you they promise you a ticket to the future silicon valley designing the next iphone chip building ai but they don't tell you about the brutal learning curve the stagnant salaries in certain sectors or the fact that this electronics degree is becoming two different things so if you are a high school student considering ece or a first year student already regretting it pause the entire video by the end of this video you will know whether you are built for this electronics engineering degree or you should run other way let's start with the academics this is where most people quit electronics is arguably one of the most demanding engineering discipline because it forces you to master three completely different words simultaneously the three words of ec the analog word physics word basically you need to understand how electricity actually works semiconductor physics electromagnetics analog circuits This is hard math and deep physics you are dealing with differential equations just to design a basic filter if you hate physics maths you will suffer here the second word is digital word this is the word of digital electronics htls like verilog microprocessors and computer architecture it's closer to computer science but it's about hardware software code design you are building the brain of the computer not just writing the code for it very log code would actually go into the synthesizing hardware and in that way it is very much different from just simple software coding software signal word digital signal processing control systems and communication theory this is a nightmare of advanced calculus fourier transforms and probability this is what allows you to build wifi 5g and modern audio processing in many other branches you can skip a tough class in ec you cannot your final year project requires you to be proficient in all the three words this is the degree of constant high level and multi dimensional stress be honest with yourself are you ready for that kind of workload here is the most critical truth that no one tell you the ece degree is becoming two different things slowly with two different salary trajectories you must choose your path early path a the high paying path the digital size This is the glamorous words of VLSI, very large scale integration and embedded systems, mainly the software part of embedded system. So here you design the ASICs, application specific integrated circuits, the processors, the firmware. This is a lot of coding. Very log C, C plus plus, Python, and specialized design EDA tools. So this is where the money is. High demand, great salaries, especially in technology hubs. But this has the highest burnout rate as well. People have to sit for hours to debug a complex circuit. As you all know, like chip is combination of millions and billions of transistors. So here your competition isn't just other ECE grads. It's computer science and computer engineering grads as well. If you pursue this, you must be a coder who understands hardware, not just an ECE student who doesn't mind code. That is why I said. that vlsi requires coding but it is completely different from software coding and now the second path path b i maine bola na ki electronics ka word do different trajectories ki taraf ja raha hai jahan pe alag alag type ke kaam hai aur alag alag type ki salaries hai so path b the lower paying path the industrial or analog side note i am not preferring analog way as it is in here this is the traditional practical side of ec so here industrial electronics power systems instrumentation field service you are working with big machinery पावर ग्रेड्स फैक्ट्री ऑटोमेशन मतलब मैं यहाँ पे मैं कोर इलेक्ट्रिकल की भी कोई चीजें पिक कर रहा हूँ क्योंकि वहाँ पे जो पावर सिस्टम्स वगैरह हैं वहाँ पे बिग मशीनरी होती है सो हियर लेस कंपटीशन हैंड्स ऑन वो जॉब सिक्योरिटी इन नॉन टेक इंडस्ट्रीज लाइक मैन्युफैक्चरिंग एंड एनर्जी बट दी कॉन इज सैलरीज और ऑफ एन सिग्निफिकेंटली लोअर देन पाथ है दी वर्क इज फिजिकली इंटेंसिव एंड द करियर पाथ कैन फील टू स्लोअर यू चूज ई सी इन द होप टू अवॉइड कोडिंग इज द सिंगल बिगेस्ट मिस्टेक द हाइएस्ट वैल्यू जॉब और हाइएस्ट सैलरी जॉब रिक्वायर यू टू बी अ प्रोग्रामर फर्स्ट अलॉन्ग विद द इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स एक्सपर्ट second so why the pain is worth it 
मतलब अगर आपने इसी ले लिया है तो आप जो सहोगे वो वर्थ इट क्यों होगा उस पर भी थोड़ा सा डिस्कस कर लेते हैं ऑब्वियस है कि आप मेहनत करोगे तभी वर्थ इट होगा बट क्यों होगा उस पर डिस्कस करते हैं इफ यू हैव स्टेट दिस लॉन्ग यू माइट एक्चुअली बी बिल्ड फॉर दिस एंड इफ यू आर द रिवॉर्ड्स आर इमेंस द डिग्री गिव्स यू सुपर पावर्स दैट नो अदर फील्ड कैन मैच एंड इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स इंजीनियर is the only person who can truly understand technology from the atom semiconductor physics wireless communication you don't just use a tool you know how the tool was built how it processes information and how does it communicate hey so like in ec you just know the complete picture and if i go to the ai or iot side then like every single advancement in artificial intelligence and the internet of things needs an ece backbone who designs the ultra low power chips for smart watches ec who designs the neural network accelerators for edge computing ec who hold the literal hardware keys to the future ec e the sheer complexity of the curriculum is its greatest asset ec graduates can easily transition into software engineering data science mechanical engineering like control system and even finance algorithm trading due to their A strong signal processing and mathematical background it is perhaps the most versatile degree so how do you decide now like it is challenging so let me give you a final and brutally honest checklist you should choose electronics engineering if you can say yes to the following three things first one is you genuinely enjoy physics and advanced math not just you are good at it but you are fascinated by why things work at a fundamental atomic level you are ready to code extensively you must commit to master at least c and python or maybe verilog at, at least some language should be there you must not fear coding and be comfortable with hardware description languages like verilog if you are really running away from coding choose something else second thing is you are a relentless problem solver ece is about debug iteration and failure circuits never work on the first try projects may run late you need the perseverance to troubleshoot a bug for 6 hours straight and the most important part you would have to study always up skill always because in ec even after getting a high salary jobs the learning stops only at the retirement if you answer no to even one of those consider some other branch so now you know the full cost good luck and all the best